Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, I just thought I would take you along with me on like a typical day in my life. Might be a bit boring to some, but also some of you might want to see that. But anyways, I have just got changed into my gym outfit, which I wear absolutely every single day of the week. Obviously, I change what I wear, but today I've got a new outfit on and I'm feeling it. I'm gonna show you it. This Puma jumper, which I got from an outlet store. I think it was like 10 pounds, so really cheap. Then a matching sports bra to these cute little gray leggings. And then I've just got my running trainers on because I'm going for a run in the gym. Yeah, you heard me. I'm a changed woman. I just, absolutely love that feeling of getting sweaty. I never ever used to like it, but now I'm obsessed and I think it's just, just makes me feel good. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a run in the gym. I basically got this morning, did loads of work and yeah, I've been sitting down all day. So it's now like 10 o'clock. I say all day, it's all morning. It's now 10 o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. Just gonna get, grab a drink. Um, I have been loving these rain cans. This isn't actually my favorite flavor, but this is like lemon. Um, these are really good. They're like almost like a monster, but a bit sweeter, you know? And I just help find it like really helps with my energy in the gym because otherwise I'll like get halfway through my workout and I'm just not feeling it anymore. So, ooh, hi hair. <laughs> Anyways, got that, got my water. Now I'm gonna get to the gym. I'm not gonna film myself in the gym because I don't have anyone to film me and it's just an effort. And I always find if I'm filming myself in the gym, I just don't really have a good session. Like I need to get into it, I need to feel it. And I'm training upper body as well and I struggle with that on good days. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll come back. I've already had my breakfast. I haven't shown you guys what I had because I feel like this vlog might go on to another day because tomorrow I'm going back to Kent and it might be all exciting because I'm seeing my puppy for the first time in like two weeks. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling on um, and I'm gonna go to the gym. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. Guys, I really wanna do one of those vlogs where you film yourself and you drive at the same time. I just don't know how you guys like balance this on the windscreen without it like falling off. I feel like I might have a case or something. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. I just actually wanted to speak to you because I've been feeling so anxious recently about going to the gym and it just sounds stupid because obviously, oh, obviously I am a fitness influencer, but I feel like everyone goes through stages where they love the gym, they love going, they love how they look. And at the moment I just don't feel like that. I feel, I don't know, I just wake up in the morning and I'm just not quite happy, but I thought everyone goes through those stages and I just wanted to tell you that if you are feeling like that, you are not alone and it is just a stage and we will get through it together because I feel like I'm coming out of it now. I just feel like I just, I need a goal to like work towards. So actually, Kira and I are going on holiday next week. We're going to Italy. <laughs> and I can't bloody wait. Um, I am gonna eat so much pasta, gnocchi, spaghetti, pizza, gelato, if that's how you pronounce it. I'll come back and just be ready for winter, as weird as that sounds. I feel like, oh yeah, someone the other day put on Instagram being like, Christmas is like 99 sleeps away. And I was just thinking like, shut up. Like, where the hell has 2020 gone? It was like January, February, December. I feel like this year has just been like, whew, like that's it. Um, but that saying, like even though this year has been pretty poop for like most of us, it's actually been really good for me in other ways. Like I've found a boyfriend, which if you knew me before, I was so single, it was a joke. Um, but I actually loved it as well. And I think that was the thing, like because I loved being single, I never really 
wanted to not be single um my business has just like gone from here to here i have never worked so hard in my life i finished my third year of university i've got two years to go i moved into my flat and um, everything has just been like go 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 and even though this year has been rubbish it has allowed me time to just focus on myself and my business and yeah i'm honestly gonna be like eternally grateful for that but i'm just so done with not going out like not seeing my friends like not partying like not being able to do things that i'd want to do like i love to travel and i feel like at the moment it's just not possible to do it how you want to do it so yeah that was my little ramble hopefully um boris doesn't call another lockdown because otherwise we might have to have words gym session done i trained upper body and you know what? it was actually pretty good session and i did a bit of cardio after which is well a bit sweaty um but i'm gonna go home now and, whoa <laughs> i'm gonna go home now and try and get an appointment at the nail place because look at these nails i had like french tips and i honestly love them but for uni they were a bit long so i had to cut them off so hopefully they're gonna be able to sort these out because obviously we're going on holiday and we're having this nails and this one is like just ruined absolutely hate that when you just got like one bad nail so yeah hopefully they're gonna sort that out that was such a good session but then you know when you finish you're like eh, that's me right now anyways let's get going the gym and I'm going to show you what I got let's pop this down a bit because I feel like oh I think I know what this is actually I hope this looks nice because I've been looking for a new one of these and this company actually messaged me on Instagram and asked if I wanted one um, but you never know you until you like that together so let's see Oh, I don't know. It's kind of chunky. Maybe it's a new watch strap for my Apple Watch. I've had this watch strap and I get asked about it loads since I got the watch. And that's like three, four years ago. Like I got it from Amazon. It was £10. Best thing I've ever bought, I promise you. Um, if you're looking for a watch strap and don't want to pay like £100 pounds from the one from Apple, then go on to amazon and type in i think it was like metal like chain watch strap or something um and yeah have a go because definitely worth investment but this one's actually really cute it is quite manly though like the strap's quite big but let's try on oh how do i even show sure, i don't even know how to take this off Two hours later. Oh my goodness, that was the biggest effort in the entire world because you had to like screw in these little screws. But actually, I quite like it. It's nice. It's nice to mix it up and it makes it look a little bit more like not germ, you know? I think it looks cool. What do we think? I'm liking it. I think it's cool. Um, so yeah, their name is Prominence. I'll show you here. They do some pretty cool things actually. They do it in like silver, um, gold and silver like I've got, or rolls, go rolls, rose gold and silver, and then just gold as well. So yeah, check them out. For my lunch, I am having, so I've got some pasta in here and I weighed out 40 grams of this low carb pasta, which I got from Muscle Foods. In all honesty, it, it just tastes like pasta and it's, like pure protein so if you struggle to get your protein intake check this out and then i'm gonna make a i've never made it before but i'm gonna try it i'm gonna make like a healthy version of a carbonara so i have got the pasta cooking in there then i've got some lightest philadelphia lightest philadelphia cheese some green pesto or kieran's here eat lean cheese and then bacon medallions There he is. <laughs> mm. 
By the way, I always use this cooking spray because it's just such good for calories and it's on sale at the moment in Tesco for like one pound. So if you haven't got it, don't forget it. <laughs> sure why I said I was going to put pesto in it because that was before I made up my mind so we're scrapping the pesto but I found some of this in the fridge as well so garlic and herbs so I'm going to put half of that in half of that cheese and then chop up the bacon medallions and then obviously wait for the pasta to cook and stir it all in No, you can't. Looks good, doesn't it? It smells it, very Italian-y. It's a healthy you carbonara. Yeah. Pizza, pasta, gnocchi! Can I have a tenor one? No, you can't. You tell a piss, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't make me anything to eat next to me. You ate your lunch on your story. Shut your mouth. <laughs> What mm. cheese is that? That's so good. It's better than yeah. <laughs> what cheese is that? It's Philadelphia. Yeah, but it's quite strong. What on the actual sprinkled cheese? Parmesan. Parmesan and Reggiano? Yeah. Mm. Mm. One more? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you think of the time? I can't. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and get our nails done, so I'm just gonna shower, but I'm also gonna have one of these, because I'm actually obsessed with them. Can you shut up? Hey, you can't say it like that. We're gonna go get our nails done. <laughs> Sounds so shit. We are getting our nails done. Yeah, but I'm not getting like manicure. I'm getting like a pedicure. Because man's going on on Italy. Man's going to Italy. He's getting his nails done. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm gonna eat this Squares birthday cake thin bar. Which Perfect. do you know what? I was actually really disappointed with it. Oh, was it crap? It's just really small. Look, open it. Yeah, but disappointed in the fact that it's small. Or no, it's, it tastes really good. But apparently, what the, the hell. The white <laughs> yeah. No wonder it's 82 calories. Look, so it's got little smarties on it. That's quite a cool idea, though. Yeah, but apparently the white, the white one's better, and but they don't have it in stock. No, that is good though. What do you rate it out of ten? I mean. I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of sweet things unless it's just purely sugar and sweets. But I definitely have that before working out for a pump. It's good, but mm. is it worth 82 cows? Not. Look how small it is. <laughs> what would you rather though? What? What would you rather than that for 82 calories? Mm. 
is that going to give you the satisfaction you need? I quite like here to your diet, Eleanor. I quite like fiber one bars. I don't want that. Oh. I'm like, not even that bothered. I quite like fiber one bars. Yeah, they're good. Right, should we go get our nails done now? <laughs> you have a new shower. <laughs> what have you just put in my legs? I am gonna, I've got a couple of photos to shoot today before I go home tomorrow because when I go back to Kent, it's just not the best place to be shooting photos because it's just not the right background, you know? Um, so yeah, just getting ready. I'm pretty much done now actually. I don't really put much on like my day-to-day -day look, you know. It's just nice and light. I'm trying to find, I hate looking in makeup bags for makeup. It's just the worst thing. Got it. This is my favourite highlighter and Kieran thought this was a CD case in oh, my fuming. boyfriend does my makeup look. So this is what you actually do, yeah? That's fuming because I would have made you look ten times better otherwise. <laughs> I can see you in my mirror. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to put some of this, I think it's called Laniage Lip Balm. It's the best. It's like a sort of lip balm mask but it turns your lips like pinky pinky glossy mm. hey. makeup done now i'm going to get these nails done because look at that every time i look at it i'm like for god's sake i hope they can fix that i'll show you my little outfit so kieran actually hates these trainers they're called nike Vomer vomeros are they yeah vomero i think they're pretty cool Oh no, you have to wear black socks with that. Are you joking? <gasps> Fashion crisis. Is that me? You have to wear black socks. Just got back from getting my nails done. But they're matte with like a colour friendship because I thought I'd mix it up because I know I'm holiday. But I literally love them. Kieran, what did you get? Nothing. What did you get? Let's see your nails. Oh, I thought you went to tears. Well, let's see your nails. Oh yeah. Clean nails. I've got manicures. And I also got my <laughs> also got my toes done as well. But I've just had a delivery from Pretty Little Thing because we're going on holiday, so I thought I'd get a couple bits. I had a delivery. Yeah, and then we got to here on the way home, which we're gonna have for lunch. You can have that now before we take photos. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't really care, do you? Yeah. I'm starving. I can't eat before oh. I have photos taken. Um but actually next week in Italy it's not gonna be like hot hot, it's gonna be mid mid 20s so it's a bit hard to know what to wear um so let's see what i've got in here anyways these jeans are a definite no-no <laughs> why is that i swear size 10 is just massive and then an eight just doesn't even go on that's a shame oh and these are my cute little new toes like a matte pink mmm look at this so good this is like our go-to fast food order, would you say? 100%. Fast food? It is, if you haven't had this before, it's a Mexican like burrito bowl, but like an open one. So I've got lettuce, tomato, sour cream. Did you put cheese on it? Yeah. Cheese, and then inside is like a bit of rice, beans, and chicken i like a burrito i feel so full right now i mean i'm gonna still eat in about 10 minutes you see i'm not actually gonna eat that right now i just wanted to show you guys because we're gonna go and take some photos on the roof i eat it then yeah i eat it i got you oh, a yeah, large you ate yours i got I... you a large and double chicken do you know why i did that because i'm gonna have it all later no so you're not gonna eat it all that means no. i get more you won't eat that all good morning everybody so good morning Oh my god. <sighs> Ow! Oh, sorry. Today is a new day. How are you feeling? I've got a headache. This is a really good idea. <laughs> How's it? 7 o'clock in the morning because I've had to get up early and I need to work really. I really shouldn't be doing this. Um, because I'm going back to Ken today to see Arthur. I was going to wrap up the vlog yesterday Oof. and then just decided that I think it'd be really cute for you guys to see Arthur because I haven't seen him in like, what is it, like two weeks? Three it's weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks, so I'm gonna go back just for one night because we're going to see next week, so I need to grab some stuff. I need to see him. 
so I'm gonna film that and yeah basically did my work this morning Kieran's not coming back with me are you I'm going home see you mommy so I'm all ready to leave just got dressed I'm just gonna show you my outfit before I head downstairs to the car so I am wearing a oversized shirt I'm I'm wearing an oversized shirt from Pretty Little Thing, um, Louis Bum Bag, Pretty Little Thing cycling shorts, Pretty Little Thing top, and then my favorite uh, Puma, I think they're called like RX trainers, I think. Um, so yeah, I got everything ready. Kieran's gonna stay here for a bit, aren't you? A little bit. I'm gonna leave all the time. All right. I'll leave that a little bit. Bye. Bye, Felicia. See ya. Right guys, I just got back to Ken. I'm gonna go in the house and see Arthur. I'm so excited, I haven't seen him in three weeks. But excuse my voice, because whenever I see an animal, I just talk like really like loud and squeaky. I feel like this is a thing that we all do. But anyways, let's go and see Arthur. Keep thinking that I could have done something but now I'm left with an empty heart No making amends No waking up beside you And holding you to the I can hear him Hi! Hi! Oh, oh he's weeing! He's weeing! Sleepy! Are you sleepy? You sleepy boy? Oh, he's sleeping! Have you been sleeping? Here he is. He's back. <laughs> oh, I miss him so much. You good? Say hello. Look at Arthur. He's like sitting on my legs. For goodness sakes. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it gave you a little bit of an insight into my life. I hope you found it interesting. Next week I'll be back, but I'll be doing a vlog all the way from Italy. So make sure you tune in next Sunday at half five for my Italy vlog with Kieran.